see. <gasps> is it? Is it there? You are live. There's a life. There's a life over at the internet. Ah. There's a life that some people, two people, are gonna tune in and watch. Next Klezmer album, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Next. I have a whole theory, Rob and I were talking about this, about um, literally sing the phone book, but get a different musician to accompany you every time, and it has to be a different style. So you'd start in the A's, and you'd get, for example, like a Klezmer musician. Back, back up. Yes. What's a phone book? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, watch, that would be what would get me famous, you know? Wow, I'll, I'll sing, I'll sing, you know, um, you know, Ace Hardway. Wait a minute, why can't I share this? Ambulances. Why does it not show? I don't know. We're gonna, we're figuring oh. it out. Oh, that's the group. Yes, that's you can't share yeah. from the group, you gotta that's share that's from the Illiami page. Yeah. Hey, everybody, there we're making it, it work, now we're I making it work. Button. Sweet, and I can hear myself. Oh, I hear the delay of me. This is a message from the future. <laughs> so hey there, everybody. We're getting, we're getting ourselves together. I'm sitting in the M. You can see I'm sitting in the M. I kind of like it because it's like a, a little shard. I feel very Ooh. segmented. I don't know. What you doing? Let me know you're there. Ask some questions while we get uh, all the shares smashed. It's story time with Illy Amy. Let me know you're there. Ask some questions while we get uh, all the shares smashed. And now I want the YouTube. There we go. Here's YouTube. Hello, 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 hello. Greetings from Scotland. Yay! Thank you, Irene. Oh, wow. Hello, Irene. Oh, you know what we mean. And Tracy Buchanan. Hello, beautiful peoples. I'm here, but I can't see anything. Facebook user, we can't see you anyway. <laughs> so you can't see anything because we're we're behind the the curtain, as it were. But we're here. See the hands in the in the M and the Y. So we'll be there any second. This is just the time where we hit share and make sure everything is functioning on all of our various portals and platforms. And if you are watching this in the Iliami group, huh, is my mic on? It, it is. He's okay. messing with stuff. He's messing with it. Um, if you are in the Iliami group watching this, unfortunately, we can't see who's commenting. Like, we see Facebook user. I'm here. But we, I, I'm, I'm sure we know you and love you and miss you. And puppy, I don't know that I hear anything through our monitor. So... The monitor light is not on. Did you trip over something? No, I, did. I didn't go anywhere <laughs> or do anything. Hey, Emily. Emily at the Conrad. Twitch ratted us out. I think this was discussed. Hey, 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 hey. I didn't go there, so that was not my doing. Now we're up. 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 There we there go. There it is. Hey. Okay. All right, hey, Jillian. All right, cool. So uh, let me know you can actually like hear the words that are coming out of my mouth. Can you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? Because I don't know under, understand about the, the Twitch ratting us out and other things. We can hear you good. OK, good. Thank you. No, Twitch ratting us out is probably the uh, uh, advertisement that sends out. Uh, and sweet, good. Yeah. OK, thank you. All right, we have confirmation. Confirmation, oh, confirmation. Thank you for my happy belated birthday. I actually was just talking about Yvonne and Jillian today. Because Wait, I was, when was your birthday? My birthday was actual Halloween. Wow. So uh, we were talking about that because we were supposed to play. Hi, cat. Oh. Ow. Oh. We were supposed to play. Hey. All right, we need to drop the curtain because the cat is showing his butthole there. Oh, no, that's not the kind of 
That's not the Whoops. kind of internet content we're here for. <laughs> just, just, just glorious, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Let's screenshot that for later. <laughs> That is a great cat butt shot. Wow. Everything is out of focus. Uh oh, is the cat oh, butt no. out of focus? Uh, yeah. Hmm. We look in focus here. <laughs> that might be an internet connection thing. <laughs> it looks like a skunk. <laughs> Well, we're just getting settled here with the cat and our special guest, Seth Keibel, joining us for the second time tonight. We were so excited to have him. We had a great time last couple months ago or so he was here. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. August or something. Yeah. It was much warmer. Hey, AJ. AJ, I'm going to see you in real life, man. It's going to be great. Would you like other people to speak for you? Words? <laughs> Notes? Words. Raining, love is gonna break. If it keeps on raining, love is gonna break. If the levy breaks, I have no place to stay. Me no levy, talk me to weep and moan. Me no levy, talk me to weep and moan. Got what it takes to make a mountain man leave his home, leave his home, leave his home, leave his home, yeah. When you're trying to make your way home You don't know which way to go You're going down south They got no work for you If you don't know about Chicago Oh, 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 No good. Cry won't help you, pray won't do you no good. If the levee breaks, mama, you got to move. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, yeah. All last night I sat on the levee and moaned. All last night I sat on the levee and moaned. Let's think about my baby and my happy home. Take it home, take it home, take it home, yeah. You're trying to make your way home, you don't know which way to go You're going down south, they got no work for you If you don't know about Chicago Oh, 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 oh,
can't take you. I'm sorry, but I can't take you. I'm sorry, but I can't take you. I'm going down, I'm going down now, I'm going down, I'm going down now, I'm going down, I'm going down now, I'm going down. Greetings. Hi, Sandy Alexander. I love you too. I want to know more about your friend Tarzan Klein Orchestra. I think that's that's uh, Richard. I think he lives like nearby here. I mean, he could probably hear us just from outside his window. Hey, Mark. Good to see you out there. Mark, of course, is going to be our special guest at the beginning of December. Dude, oh, yes. how do you even, where do you even We're going to the Tycho Bunker. Plenty of room, nice. plenty of room. Yes. I mean, did you know we're going to the Tycho Bunker? It's on a night when you're going to be with us. <laughs> when is it? Yes, I totally knew that. <laughs> we're just going to shove her in the car and not tell Line her folder. where we're That's going. That's how you get to the Tycho Bunker, actually. If it's a previously agreed upon, you know, night, then I do just show up. <laughs> it's like, okay, it's on the calendar. What are we doing? Well, yeah, but if you showed up here, it'd be very sad. It would be You'd sad. Be like, oh, that man. It's always that, like, sad sort of Heather face that she makes when she's stuck outside of the window. Um, so for those of you who don't know, we are Illy Amy. We're webcasting live from Baltimore, Maryland. Or a block away from Baltimore, Maryland, technically. This is our, our special guest, Seth. I didn't get to be with you last time, so you came yeah. special so I could be with I you. I know, I know. I appreciate that a lot. It's an extra bonus. They also promised me I could go downstairs this time, and that wasn't true. Yeah. I was the one that was like, no. It's the right choice. No, it's the right choice. So the yes. weather doesn't know what it wants to do, yeah, and it's, it's like, like kind of warm out, and it gets pretty stuffy in the basement with four humans and wind instruments and stuff, so, yeah. I, I produce a lot of hot air. It's true. <laughs> we weren't going to say it, but yeah. And we want to give you no less than our best and most energetic yeah. sort of performance. And so it's like, I've been very, I was looking at video from the Refuge show, and I'm in my onesie, and there's something about the onesie. <laughs> so there's something about a giant onesie, and then we'll actually get back to the music. Do we, do we need to get to I the onesie? I am like to make crazy sure in the onesie. I was watching the video, like, oh, I was a little extra. Flop around all over um, the place. And it's because I feel, like, appropriately concealed. It's not like you're going to lose a boob mm -hmm. or... You know, oh no, my stomach is jiggly. It's like, no, I'm in a onesie and I do what I want. And I'm just like, blah, you know. <laughs> she was precisely like, blah. I was. Yeah. It was great. So we're going to do onesie shows this December when it comes out? Oh, hell Once yeah. Once it gets cold? Oh, yeah. we onesie yeah. it up. We've decided that we're not going to use our heat ever again. We're just going <laughs> to dress in onesies. This is going to be awesome. This is a song about Friday. We're going to play it on a Wednesday because we're going to party like it's a Wednesday. But, um, like yeah, it's Friday. Friday, for those of you who are interested in the real Friday, this Friday, Rowan and I are performing in Baltimore. Heather's performing in Philadelphia. Let you be warned. Wow, that's been a minute. Hope House in Houston. Oh, Hops House. Yeah, JP Hops. Cool. Seth, if it helps in your inspiration, this is a song about doing it. It's doing, doing it. it. Oh, doing it. So sex was the right call. Okay. Sunrises lingering, keep finding a way to stall this day. Dear ear, uh -huh. Ooh, here's a sweet, sweet movement. The birds are straining their sounds to lend some charm to charm city's clouds. The power's out, the lights are down, the roads are out. It's gonna be a long, slow day, anyhow. 
Bright and lingering, keep finding a way to stall this day. Dear here, how oh, is a sweet, sweet movement? Oh. I love the curve and the sway. The birds are unnerved and all have escaped. The power's out, the lights are down, the roads are out. It's gonna be a long slow day, anyhow. Old sailor knows just why you gotta wait one more day. Then stay and away out this day and day. Keep the world outside. Friday just gotta wait. Damn. Still spinning, so when I headed out, nobody needs us on a day like this. I insist I can sweeten the deal. Hand on your wrist and my mouth right here. A whole day gone, but I don't care to care. But it only get better when we stay right here. The power's out, the lights are down, the roads are out, but the heat is on. And the coffee's drunk, the calls are made. It's gonna be a long slow day anyway. But if the power's back, we'll keep those lights turned down. The roads could still be. It's gonna be a long slow night anyhow are just like lighting me up tonight SUNY Plattsburgh we had a great wow. time at that gig we really did and you know what was so cool was one of the people who was um was the one of the SUNY Plattsburgh folks was one of the coffee guys at oh, the right. stand at Falcon, at Falcon Ridge and so like I would be like yeah I want the secret big cup you don't tell people you have and he would hook me up <laughs> also, my mom went to SUNY Plattsburgh. Wow. I think class of like '67 or something. And that's yeah. up there. That's where you yeah. need to wear a onesie. Yes, like up there. Yes. That's and cool. um, a random thing. A shout out to Mike. Um, I was really glad to see uh, that JP, that Jim and Pam are back online. If nothing else, I, I know that I think the venue is done for. Right? Like it burned down, and it probably will never really recover. Um, but we loved, 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 loved that. loved that place. And Spudstock was like what introduced me to the good culture of Texas and how kind and wonderful and fucking spectacular you guys all are. So um, I miss you terribly. Um, I'm hoping we'll be touring next year. Texas calls. My brother moved away from Texas, so we might need somebody else's floor to stay on. Just let us know. Let and us know. Give me a teeny, teeny bit more vocal. And um, Jamie, yes. So the, the sax player that would play with us was a um, someone that we borrowed Junior. from the Jar Flies, which Junior was... Junior Bryce. Junior Bryce. Yeah, he's yep. a great guy. Yep, great yep. player. It's, it is a small uh, wind instrument world. You all do know now, each other. Now, Josh, you're saying, can you put the sax through the Wawa? Uh, yes, yes, I can. But, but I much you. prefer sheets. Ah, yes. yes. Ah! I was going to say Royal Farms, but yeah. I was going to say don't encourage Josh, but never mind. All right, let me just make sure, because I, as I heard my... 
my air. I want to make yeah, sure I don't so blow you out. Wonderful to see you all out there from years, years past, and th this is why we're still doing this. Cindy DeMaio, like, nice yeah. to see you guys too. I hope you guys are doing okay. I, I stalk you on Facebook. Um, I don't like actually spend real time communicating with Facebook anymore, but I, I check in on the people I care about. This is a song that I feel particularly interested in singing around the way in which it was really constructed to, to be about the world. This is a song about myself, but it's really specifically a song about power and about the terrifying nature of people with incredible power. That uh, to be a creature of enlightenment is both beautiful and terrible. They're, you know, the, the, the enemy, the, the oracle, the everything is always great and terrible. You know, always in pairs, which is why the line is what it is. And this really was written as a song about politics and about not knowing how I felt about the people that you need to go to in your desperation being great and terrible. I come to you, humble and willing, brave stepping over the bones of my breath. I wouldn't come here if I wasn't desperate. I am too small and I cannot live. Once a man black can hold all I love, each one sinking into the in my power But I am too small And so is the hour Yes, I, 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 I,
<laughs> that was yes. Oracle, right? Yeah. Yes. I know that one. Yeah. Yes. Yay! It's fun to play with brass. My my um, middle stepson is a trumpet player. Oh, awesome. Um, and uh, we, d we did a family a family band video. Like I, I was like, everybody plays something. I had a percussionist and I had a trumpet player and my husband plays a little bit of guitar. Um, the youngest at the time didn't really, so I was like, here's your kazoo. I'm a big fan of child labor. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> they did great. Yeah. They did great. But it was funny because like, Brass and woodwinds and all of that, like totally foreign to me. I have I have never like, even so much as like laid hands on such an instrument. You can you can touch it I if can you touch want. It. <gasps> no, that's enough. That's enough. Well, that's just <laughs> awkward and different kind of show. But your kids said you weren't. Your kids don't tune in, right? They're pro probably not okay, watching. Okay, they probably have fine, then. other things to do. That's fine. And shout out to our Twitch moder moderator Carrie, who's taking some time to research her ballot tonight. Awesome, great example what, is there an for election? everybody. I hear maybe, yeah. Kristen somewhere. and I went out and voted yesterday morning, um, and uh, I, I, I had something positive to say to each of the vote moderators. I said, your dress is very nice, and I said, thank you for doing this, and I said, thank you because you are dressed very sparkly. Sparkly. The, the woman who was, yeah, the, yep. the, where you fed your ballot the in? Yeah, she woman. was like glittery and uh -huh. like it was, yeah. yeah I was, was like, nice. you, are, you are lighting up my <laughs> life even as I feel that my vote is being ingested into the machine. <laughs> Disco midterms. Dun, dun, dun. Disco midterms. Uh, 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 uh. Disco. <laughs> Sandy has confirmed that the kids are not watching. All right, we can say all the terrible things. We're, we're, we're really like a, a PG-13 kind of situation. Like, Sometimes. you can cuss twice and get your, like, PG-13 still, yeah. right? Yeah, so it's PG-13 as long as Sharif yeah. isn't with us. Yeah, because right. my children have never heard me curse. Huh. I live. I love. Well, where do you want to go next, Heather? I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, I don't even know. Okay. I'm, I'm all like, wee. Well, I'm a little brain dead. I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> we'll do one that we actually sent to Seth in advance. Ooh, which Wait, one should I out you like that? I, I sense that, I it's, it's that uh, begins with a B because of the first yeah. chord I heard. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I love, I love. No. So this is a song called Battle Seth. We, and it was designed Ballast. entirely around. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, but he said this. Oh. That's elephant. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. It's that Ballast. Okay. We got to work on our. <laughs> I'm sorry. I totally thought that was sandworm. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, sandworms do not grow out of your nose. <laughs> well, it depends on how hard you sneeze them. I mean, like, I'm allergic to spice. Aren't you? No. No? Okay. So. May I highly recommend Wendell and Wild, but if you're at all weird about things being in your nose, maybe uh, not. Maybe yeah. give it a pass. Yeah. But I think you'll be fine. It'll be great. Wendell and Wild. Excellent movie. Netflix. Check it out. If you want a really bad movie, because sometimes you need that too. Ooh, ooh, the sequel to 47 Ronin, not good. Not even a little good. When you've got a really bad headache and you just need something on in the background. Not it. Not it. Thank you, Franny. Go my mother's way, screaming all the while. By now I know I'll take anything, any given chance. My fear is I'll take everything and be with no one left standing. But oh my life, my life, to get the peace of me, cause I will come for you, just as the come for me. I say hey, I say hey, uh, the crown will kill me. I'm headed for the rocks again, belittled all the way. 
Oh, to go my cousin's way Kill after kill after kill But I keep my teeth unto myself I keep my weapons clean Stick it throw up me to the sands for this I run my children to the ground But oh, my queen, my wife You won't get a piece of me And I will come for you just as they'll come for me, my Sahaya Sahaya, to crown or kill me. Damn what I won't do. Damn what I won't say to you. And I won't tell you how it ends or who abandons you. Wash my hands of you But oh my love, my life You have what is left of me And I will come with you After the dark with me My Sahaya Sahaya To heaven hold me My Sahaya Sahaya Tell the people what that instrument with yes. the bow is. Uh, if you have not seen us before, this is an electric cello. What? 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 Ah. Big oh, I can play it without effects too. And it also thinks it's a bass sometimes. Most importantly, it fits in the car with all our other stuff yes. when we have to travel. <laughs> and Jim, thank you so much for the comment on the mix. We work hard on this every week, and every week it is different because, you Something know, just as I think I've got it all figured out, we invite saxophone into the mix. <laughs> or next week it'll be Native American flute and synths. Mm, Dave? And, uh, Dave Benham. Yeah, excellent. And then a couple weeks after that, we've got Jillian Matundin, Matundin who's coming in, oh. and she brings like random ass instruments, so I don't even random know what. Random ass I'm... instruments. That's really hard to play. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually really awkward. I've got to set up also a whole other ass Also a wind instrument. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Thanks for listening, Jim. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Heather, you win this round.
so tired of water Three inches of rain in the passenger side Intestines of cassette tapes A shiny at the curb Begging just one more play Begging just one more ride And I just keep driving Just keep driving. You close your eyes, three inches away in the passenger side. James is on the radio. Take a toll, say it's my moment. I can't stop driving. I can't stop driving. And you will say, baby, it's all right. Touching the ground We're flying on faith The engine will hold Keep us going Keep us going You say The coming state line No quarters of this quarter tank We search your empty hands As every noise overflowing We all for a little change Here inside So we can keep Hey!
nice. Is that, is that like an Ebo? That's an Ebo, yeah. Ebo, yeah, yeah. awesome. <laughs> Super cool. It's a song called Illinois is Overflowing. I think it's a favorite of some folks out there. Please do click the, the share button. Copy and paste the link if you have to, because I must admit that when I went to the share button, the share button was gone. So I'm sad about that. I wept a little bit while I was downstairs. If you can't, I think the group, the Illyamy group, you can't share it from the group. I, I think wonder that's if I went to the wrong going thing. Going on, hmm. yeah. And Jack, we understand. There's a group. There's the page. And it's stuff. Yeah, and Emily, I'm happy you're here. I, Sorry, I saw I that. Clicked the wrong thing. I saw that comment thread, sort of about the you know the music, the music and the importance of the music in your life, and and that stuff's really important because sometimes this feels extremely self-indulgent. I was thinking about, you know, again, songs like that, the self-indulgent type songs. Actually, let's, uh, necessary pseudo-self-indulgent, but actually also really important to, to talk Speaking about. Speaking of self-indulgent, we want to remind you that if you have anything you can throw in the tip jar, yeah. paypal.me slash Illyami or Venmo at Illyami. Um, I know we hadn't mentioned that yet, but we, we appreciate anything you can throw in there. And you can find out more about our special guest, Seth Keibel, at SethKeibel.com. Shockingly enough, that domain name wasn't taken. <laughs> wow. That's so lucky of you. I mean, I've got to actually go find whoever's got Rob.com and fight them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Dude, can you imagine who got Rob.com? <laughs> like, I, I know a guy. Actually, he's a musician. He might even be tuning in. But I know a guy who is like one of the early execs at AOL and he retired like early on like before they tanked and you know he's like a multimillionaire now but his email address is howard at AOL.com nice. how epic is that howard at AOL.com <laughs> well now I want to email Howard but um yeah I am uh, very I'm trying to remember which artist it is uh, John McCutcheon I think has folkmusic.org oh. like all of folk music is his. <laughs> That's great. This was the one we were we were doing in the in the when you when you got here. So this is a little little ode to mental health and loving all the parts of yourself. I'm not gonna lie, things have been tough lately. I have been like super super stressed out. Too many plates. Is anybody finding? I think you're probably finding like me. This year was harder than the beginning of pandemic, where it was like, oh, oh my God, pandemic, and I gotta figure out how to like, you know, get my family through this, and man, I better learn how to cook, and you know, all of these other things. Um, and now we still have all the stressors of kind of like pandemic and real life again, similar to what we had before, and everybody's just like, yeah, you're good, right? You just keep, you do like what you did before, and, and obviously yeah, you're better now, that we're right? Back to normal, yeah. And, and not even like the, the back to normal of like, you know, oh my God, you're not gonna get sick or you're not gonna get really, you know, injured by all the germs floating out there. The back to normal of like, no, I got, a, I got all that p pandemic responsibility stuff that kicked into high gear and now expected to do regular life again too. My, my emotional immune system is out of practice. <laughs> what did I cook? What, what are you saying, honey? <laughs> I am not a bad cook, but I am not a great cook. And I need recipes. Those, those pinch of something, dash of something, those mystic people like Kristen. I am not one of those people. I, I like wrote my dad a text and I was like, you're chili. I need to know how to make it. And my dad would like forget something and send me the text out of order. Like, well, wait, but the onion, you're gonna want like this much of it and you're gonna, no, 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 the onion needed to be in the beginning, dad. I'm like, I'm gonna need you to give this to me in chronological order. I am that kind of cook. Can I just real quick, since Sandy wait. Alexander is watching, I do wanna let her know, cause this is very important. Rob and, <laughs> uh -oh. Rob and Kristen uh, uh, told, we were talking about it earlier. And they are planning on watching the latest episode of Andor after this live stream. He's and I'm like, oh, I haven't seen it yet. And they said, oh, you can stay and watch with us. And I said, no. <laughs> I said, no, that would be a violation of my ketubah with my sweetie. <laughs> oh. So I just want that, you know, I 
just want I that. I thought you said no. That would be a bad idea because I might get caught. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Cool. So, well, I. Oh man, into the mic. Ah, oh, I'm a terrible Rob. Man, it makes sense that you have a katuba. Do I have a kastringa? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Sharif. Katuba is the marriage contract. No, the get is when you get divorced, yes, isn't it? When you get divorced. Uh, yeah, you get a get. Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. I feel really bad because I totally, you know, I webcast all the high holidays the last <laughs> couple of years now, and I've done benign mitzvahs and ba mitzvahs, and, but they still catch out with new stuff that I don't even know about. Well, like, let me let me juice plain to you for <laughs> a minute. Thank you. Could you please? Wait, 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 Could wait, wait, you please? Wait, I want to stab and drop a little beatbox. All right, do some splaining. All right, we're going to do some juice splaining right here. Ketuba. Ketuba. Wedding Ketuba. contract. Ketuba. Get a divorce. Get a divorce. Wah, wah. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> you will appreciate this, and then I swear we will get back to the music. I just haven't seen, like, a human, you know, like, Nobody an awesome human. Nobody warned me about throwing the freaking candy. I know. He, he actually got, like, a camera was... cable knocked out when they threw the candy. Because nobody yeah. told me this was going to happen. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. just... I'm normally his, like, his, um... Juice planer. Juice planer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, there's, there's a better word for that, Why but I can't think of it at the moment. Why are they throwing candy at me? Right, right, but right. I couldn't yeah, text yeah. it fast enough. Um, but, uh... When I was a little kid, I, I, you know, it's hard to smile for pictures. And I used to tell the camera guy, who was never Jewish, to say fushnishkit, which means drunk in Yiddish. Fushnishkit, depending on who you say. grew up with. But yes, and they would stumble over it, and it would make me laugh. And so like all of my food. elementary school pictures are with me telling a photographer to say drunk in Yiddish. <laughs> True story. Huh. Let's play something depressing. Yeah. It's triumphant, though. And that's what, what it is. Own your stuff. When I am gone Maybe too young And when you mourn Are you mad or done? Sipping your whiskey, singing my song, and cursing my demons. Got me after all. Well, spare me your. Give me my due And think more of me And you'll do Cause you will love to my demons But you'll never say Be loved So called angels did me no favors, cause it's much trouble as the devil ever did. Oh, yeah. So good a kid But oh, the forgiveness Of no in the dark
It's working for you. Drives me to the ledge Where I look over Flames at my back I do not jump And I'm not concerned But when I'm myself They say I am doomed Maybe it's true Maybe it's true So when I am gone Maybe it's too young Hearing you more All I might have done Sip on your whiskey Go ahead and sing all my songs But be kind to my demons With me all gonna try to play with you with some of those long notes, but I think your breath control might be better than mine. <laughs> like, Let's see! And I was like, maybe I should not F around good and idea, find good out. Good idea, good idea. Oh, it was a bad idea. It's like, mm, you do not want to First one to lose out. consciousness wins. <laughs> I don't think that's, I don't think that means what you think it means. <laughs> but yeah, Seth plays flute and sax and clarinet, and he's got a cool thing, speaking of Jewish stuff, nice. this Sunday, Right. This <laughs> Sunday is the I'm doing a tribute to Irving Berlin concert oh, so at the JCC in DC, the Edlovich JCC, which is like a few blocks off Dupont Circle. I'm dreaming of a Jewish Christmas. Oh my goodness! I know. I had wow, I had a link quick prepared. I wow. you know promote stuff. We want, wow. <laughs> we want oh, people to come to your stuff. And where can people see Illy Amy next? We are our divide and conquer yeah. this Friday. weekend. Yeah. Yeah. I will be in Philly. Please, for the love of God, because we, we just lost one of our uh, original acts that was part of the bill because he has COVID. Um, so now we're like extra women on the bill and kind of psyched, actually, because it's a weird pseudo reunion because the other two women on the bill were part of the same big online women's music thing that Genevieve did with all of us that time. And so nice. we've all played together, but only ever online. The next time we've got an uh, Illy Amy show, the big band, well, we've got Seven Locks coming up in okay. Rockville, uh, which is totally on a date. I think the 19th. The 19th. 19th. Correct. Saturday the 19th. The time has changed. The time has changed. If you're used to coming to, coming to see us at 7.30, they've switched it to 6 to 9 uh, because they thought that folk music... Um, didn't stay up that late. Although, is it after the time change? Because we have a time change oh this weekend. Oh my god, it's all we chaos. It's all chaos. Now, we get in? I um, sleep in. And then we've got a full band show in DC at Fat Pete's Barbecue. Wow. Which I'm sort of curious as to what's gonna, we're gonna get fed real good. PJ has been begging us to come to his place for a long time, and uh, it's finally come to pass. It got COVIDed out <laughs> twice now, I think. Um, so uh, and it has come to pass. The most important thing. Puppy, our anniversary is coming. Oh, Schnapple. Tell We're going to stream that night. We just had our anniversary. Now it's their anniversary. Yeah, it's all <laughs> I, I can top all that. Yeah. Sandy and I, last Tuesday, celebrated our 25th. Nice. No. Just ahead 25th of us. Yeah, anniversary. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Yes. Rob and I don't quite have you. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll be celebrating 21. 21. Yeah. 21 years playing together. Oh, our band can drink. <laughs> <laughs> and does. Well, that could be an interesting show. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of an 
interesting. All right, now I got. So one of the things that pleases me so much about some of these live streams is that we had to do two anniversary shows from captivity. We did not duplicate a song for either of those shows. Wow. They were two-hour shows. Four hours put together are all you and me songs from the beginning. Not a single one duplicated. I guess we better start thinking about that now. Because this time, I don't know that we could do that. We totally could do it. You think we got another two hours of songs we didn't play in the other four hours? Sure. Probably. <laughs> with, with instrumentals. With with. Inst instrumentals, I'm not going to worry about it. Instrumentals. I, I heard a tumbleweed go through your I'm teeth. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Seth Barilla. Seth Barilla. Delicious Seth Barilla. Uh. Since Robin's tuned in. Also because I put it on the list. You know. The band is legal. <laughs> Cautious now, everyone a wallflower stone. You and I were dangerous, but coveted unknowns. But take them by the eyes like this, just to make them understand. Here for you and only you, darling, till I pass. There's nothing to be said for waiting. There's nothing to be said for standing proud. There's nothing to be said for watching what has passed. Cause none of this will last. Look at them all twisting now I'm nesting in their skulls da, 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 da. I Wrap them thick around me And pull and turn and shift I Wrap them thick around me Just to keep me from myself Brands like and never, never let them cut it out. There's nothing to be said of a growing up. There's nothing to be said of standing still. There's nothing to be said for waiting till you're asked. Cause none of this will last. Worth the warm and shine and cover them in lies Just let them see the pies There's something to be said for taking what is mine Cause none of this can last
more silent now The feast on what they're fed None of them are sated yet You know they're learning to live with what they get God will get their souls And some spouse will get their flesh But eyes and flare and flash and fire You know the horn players always get the best There's something to be said for shutting up There's something to be said for diving deep there's something to be said We're going very fast Cause none of this can last There's something to be said We're shutting up There's something to be said We're diving deep There's something to be said We're going very fast Cause none of this can last And I was momentarily transported slash distracted. The d -l 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 yeah, trill. The trill. No, trill Star Trek. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, the ring when like Frodo's thinking about whether or not in the uh, animated uh, like yeah, yeah. Rankin and Bass. Oh my goodness! Right. I don't. I haven't seen the animated. Or, or it's when ages. the sun's gonna come out and make the trolls be yep. stone. Like, Although I that was like, had some great music, the animated one. Yeah. I gotta go check that I was out. Like, the wait a minute, this noise is making adventure. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we we love we love. Um, wow. I maintain that if you were a kid, I'm 42. I maintain that if you grew up in my generation or slightly earlier, your first two understandings of folk music were the Rankin and Bass, mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings, you know. Mm. Uh, Yep. Hobbit, and the animated Robin Hood. Oh. Every town <laughs> has its ups and downs. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah, like, you know, Frodo of the Nine Fingers or, you know, not Nottingham or whatever, like, me, little kid me, like, that's freaking folk music. You know, not if that doesn't, like, make you, you know, who you are later in life, like, come on. But, yeah, you hit the trill, and I'm like, are trolls turning into stones somewhere in an animated movie? I feel <laughs> transported. That's the highest compliment anyone's ever paid me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kristen's getting, getting, getting Thank water. You. Like well, a, Heather, do you want to get really host. depressing? How depressing are you trying to get? Like some killing? Which kind? I have several. I know. <laughs> Which flavor? Killing. Okay, that kind of killing. This one's come back in, like, I'm going to stay seated for this one since the finger picking pattern. Which one is it? In the water? Oh, yes, I okay. know that one. Um, I don't think I have any charts, but I heard it. No, I do. It's, oh, my God. It's very B. Yeah. Yeah, I have a little very, chart. It is the quintessential Iliami B minor, correct? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. We do love our our um, our B minor in this band. And for some reason, isn't there a whole like thing online about how like the the Robin Hood fox is like literally the sexiest animated character ever? I have seen some. That's there's like a I lot. I think it's fan way. fiction. I think there's like I, a I whole. I be surprised. There's a I... whole rabbit hole. Pardon the pun <laughs> uh -huh. of the internet you can go down with about. The fox, the You're Robin Hood fox. Yeah, I'd be down with that. I, I mean, I must admit, that is my um, pantheon animal. Uh, I'm sorry. Now, how, little... how are you not going to feel like Ka is not like the sexiest animated <laughs> sings? In no, 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 no. I, I mean, I feel like, okay, maybe the Robin Hood fox, maybe Robin, but um, I would be surprised if there wasn't more fan fiction about. Obviously. Get, is rabbit. it Gadget from um, Inspector Gadget? No, 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 no. <laughs> from Tailspin. Go, go, Gadget! Oh, never mind. We or Chippendales, Chippendales, Rescue Rangers. Uh, no, okay. I'm not, okay. not coming there with you. Oh, okay. this is, I shouldn't have put that out there. Actually, I'd like to come back. I would like to retract my statement. 
I wish Heather had been in tune faster because I wish I hadn't said that. I don't think I've ever necessarily nope. spent a lot of time. I mean, Gambit from the animated X Men. Come on, though. Mon cher. Oh, on. he's the one who throws mm. cards. Yes. Mm. Flaming, pl throwing, flaming, playing, Darkwing Duck. Yeah. I will be your Darkwing Huckleberry. Duck, where'd that come from? <laughs> yeah, I watched oh, Darkwing that Duck. Chin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Robin Hood and Little John running through the forest. Laughing back and forth at what the other had to say. I'm telling you, we should do, after months of us being like bored in the winter, like favorite, you know, uh, music from animated, you know, stuff of our childhood. That could get real in the weeds and pretty great. Food for thought. Just think about <laughs> it. This, this is, this is an uncomfortable song to place after that kind of discussion. For this is really about the fantastical tale of a of a child speaking to people uh, from from the ghost times of up there not lives I was trying to think of how to say that again my brain is not fully present so I've trotted the voice and the hands out to to, to do and then the brain is is lagging a little behind Someone will, will get the brain some, some water along the sidelines. All right, let's see. And you already, you already, this one's, I think it's funny that flutes don't get reeds, do they? This is a water song, so the reeds are in the song. Up there in the cave, 
Love the suit. <coughs> Weird. It's like you just snuffed out a small mouse. Send a rally, send a rally. I'm telling you, man. This uh, this whole you know music of of the the animated movies of our childhood. Mm-hmm. I don't know. The gears are turning. Yeah. yeah. Gears are turning. Yeah. yeah. What would be the what would be the hockey? It would be like. From Sword in the Stone, like what would be the one from Sword in the Stone? I'm an ugly old witch. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but what's the song? Uh, uh, Mad Madam Mims. Oh yeah, well, okay, well that's that. Okay, no, well that answered that question. <laughs> Mad Madam. Somewhere out there, there's a cassette tape of me and my friend Karen singing Little Mermaid songs oh, very badly. I do Might a have good to do. Ariel, <laughs> but not because I like like it, you know. Oh, we like, yeah, we destroyed the songs, not in a good way. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection Under the Sea complete? with Steel Drums. Oh, God. Uh, no. <laughs> Kiss the Girl. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the gears are turning. You dream about going up there, but that 
is a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Come along in our wonder and whimsy, Robert. This is the horrible part where not being able to remember any lyrics at all other than my own, and even that is after like lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots, and lots of work, means that I don't get to participate on the fly. What was your and favorite animated movie as a child? As a child? Yeah. Fantasia. Really? I think so. I think so. Because he's really old. <laughs> <laughs> I was old enough to, for the re-release. Mm, not that old. All right. What was your favorite no. animated movie as an adult? Atlantis. That I know. Yeah. I should have known that. Yeah. Yeah. And There's I don't, no music in it's that. It's not though, a music. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Well, we I've have time to think everything. about this. <laughs> Sigh. One of them air bugs. What is it? <laughs> One of them there bugs done bit me on set ponds. Who's going to suck out the poison? <laughs> Don't all give me the other ones. All right, puppy, where you going? Uh, oh, is it time? Is it time to reclaim our cool? Hippopotami. Hippopotami would be like. See, there one ran right across the room. Yeah. Out of Savannah, up to the Carolinas, the rhythm of the pines, reminding me the finest things are moving. The finest things are moving quick. Richmond strings and things and fingers fast I'm low break down and then repack Rinse, spin, repeat, get paid, come back The finest things are moving You can find out by the hour Yeah, the finest things are moving We can find out by the mile Home for seven years, two cats in a yard. Oh, Wi Fi, we had the neighbor's kids said hi every morning. This time they say they're moving. Can't wait until they're moving. Next stop on the road, it's Washington, D.C. One big monument to status quo and cash and greed. The roads aren't just a symptom of the overall disease. We get that town a wide wide burn the traffic and the companies we keep on moving. God knows that they ain't moving.
just all called the cops. That was just yeah. silly. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was the animated version of that should I, song. Should I close the window? No, with the let them, let They're them. torturing an animal in there. <laughs> yeah, I think we've determined our na- our neighbors are, are cool. Well, yeah, but with the window open, it's a lot more neighbors well, that might have an opinion. But. I warned them. I posted in our neighborhood Facebook group. Oh, if you hear funny. the, because they what sometimes they tune yeah, into yeah, the yeah. stream too. Hi, neighbors. <laughs> My, my neighbors started to bring chairs and sit, like, in the yard. You know? <laughs> they were going to be like, my neighbors started to bring chairs and throw them. And <laughs> it was cute. They're, they would bring wine and, like, a table. And I was like, this is great. <laughs> well, last time we had a lot of fun with Tom Waits. Okay. Well, do you remember, Rob? Nope. Do you remember when uh, I, early in the pandemic, Flo and I did the IMT live stream oh, yes. for our driveway? Well, some neighbors of ours uh, came by... And like it was so awkward because they didn't understand we were doing live, and they started talking to us. Oh. And at the same time, I was talking to David on the live stream, and they thought we were talking to them. And then like our answers didn't fit there, and they were confused at why I was such a bad conversationalist. And it was this, <laughs> it was this whole thing. That's so sad. Yeah. That's have, where they have drive. you encountered them again since? What? Have you encountered them again? Yeah, you yeah, know, we talk okay. afterwards, okay. and I'm like, so just so you know, and I, I, I mean, I tried to tell them in a way that didn't make them feel bad, which I think, you know, hopefully I did, but it, it was well, Generally, it was if fun. somebody's playing music together, you don't go up People and don't start. Know. Yeah, I know. It's, like, I know. it's like It's like they thought your driveway was a bar gig, so yeah. 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 <laughs> so I was hoping that you could cover the something, something, this song that you never heard of. Hold on. I know that you're in the middle of solo, which means you're... Your, 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 your mouth is unoccupied, right? So can I play this song for you on YouTube? Maybe you could play it for me. That's, I'm, why is Come this happening? Come drink in my driveway. <laughs> I don't think Chris is out there. Oh, I know, but it doesn't mean I'm yeah. happy to sing. Yeah. Sing the Chris song, whether he's present or not. <sighs> Tell me. <laughs> Man's blind, the conductor is lame. Cincinnati jacket and a sad thought game. Hanging out the window with a pocket full of rain. Clap hands. Clap hands. Clap hands. Clap hands. Roar, roar at the thunder and the roar. Son of a bitch ain't coming back here no more Moon in the window and a bird on a pole You can always find a million at a shovel on the coal Clap hands Clap hands Clap hands Clap hands hands. I said steam, steam, a hundred bad dreams Going up to Harlem with a fist in his jeans Fifty dollar bill inside of Aladdin's hat And nobody showing Mr. Knickerbocker's hat Clap hands, clap hands, 
fly pants Fly pants I said steam, steam A hundred bed dreams Going up to Harlem with the physical in his jeans Fifty dollar balance out of island and sets But nobody's showing Mr. Knickerbocker's at Shine, shine, the rose will die All the way to Baltimore, running out of time Salvation Army seemed to wind up in the hole They always went to heaven and the little robo Clap hands Clap hands Clap hands Clap hands Clap hands Clap hands we've yet mentioned. You can support the night with donations at paypal.me slash illyamy or Venmo at illyamy. It is up above there and if you're on Facebook or YouTube it should be, the link should be there. Is there actually not a cello emoji? Is that like a problem? It's, is there not yeah. one? I mean one. It's a problem that I could solve I guess if yeah. I have to. Yeah. I hate working at 64 by 64 <laughs> pixels. Good God. Just take a violin one and stick an end pin exactly. on it and that's fine. Pick it up. All right, so I think, I think, like, my little, like, sonic inspiration is, uh, let's, uh, let's speak easy this one up. So let's, uh, let's Frankie and Johnny, but let's really, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, let's that's, throw that it into my, that. That was my thought, yep. Yep. What flavor do you do it in? Is it like G? Flavor, G. flavor of G. Flavor of G. Yeah. So, yeah. We went up to, um, Pittsburgh and did this, like, insane murder ballad show in the gorgeousness that was you were the, could you, I saw you posted in the Carnegie Museum because yeah. I'd been in because well, I, I went out with uh, Will my oldest we visited Carnegie Mellon mm -hmm. like a few months back and, we saw, and then I saw you guys were there which was awesome yeah 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 so really just this gorgeous you know velvet seated you know theater um reverb for days one of those moments where you understand the prowess of the Beatles in in the stadium without monitors and massive <laughs> slap back and we basically like looked at each other and went gonna have to trust <laughs> um, so we, we did this one and, and now like once I, I heard that I was like yeah let's let's speak easy this one up let's uh Jewish moonshiners that's what we're gonna we're gonna this is gonna be flavor Jewish moonshiner sliv of it <laughs> we're gonna have some some manischewitz with our murder, murder in Manischewitz. <laughs> I'm Jewish, I can say it. Yeah, see, there it is. Here we go. Frankie and Johnny, the sweethearts. How oh, how they could love. Swore to be true to each other. He was a man, he was doing it wrong. Well, Frankie went down to the corner just for a bucket of beer. She said, Mr. Bartender, my loving Johnny, he been here. He is my man, but is he doing it wrong? I don't want to cause you no. Trouble. Ain't gonna tell you no lie. But I 
saw your man about an hour ago with a girl named Nellie Belay. He is my man, but he is doing me wrong. Well, Frankie looked over and transom. She's all to a surprise. Cause it ain't Perfect. Oh, Heather was communicating successfully with me. Okay. I'm sorry! <laughs> there are lots of people. Uh-huh. Kristen was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm on the wavelength with Heather right now, and apparently she's not. She's not telling you, but... Just trust me. I looked at him and I was like, no, we're yep. going to do this yep. thing. It's yep. going to be fine. It makes lots of sense. It was I, perfection. Kristen they thought it looked was at me like I was mad. Yeah, it was perfection. <laughs> what are you doing? And I was like, gum me. would be perfection. I will tell you a funny thought. So they'll, they started from? to, it's from friends. Oh, right, right. Gum would be perfection. Um, I, like, I was like, yay, we're going to jump. We're going to jump. Fun fact. I've been too busy to do laundry. So I realized as I took the first jump that I was not wearing a bra with underwire. And I'm like, oh, we're not going to do this. And that's why it's like I went this story. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's just... Because <laughs> it was like, I got to leave and nothing's dry. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, this is what's happening. I had more than a touch of jiggle myself when I jumped. Yeah, except I would like give myself a black eye. <laughs> I don't think you would. She's a danger to herself and others, I frankly. I am. There's a great story you will appreciate we tell in the band. And, and if we, we, I don't know if we've told it on, on the streams. I'm sure it's come up. Uh, I 
I am a double D. 30, 36 double D, if, if anybody was in, curious. In case you missed her birthday, which was <laughs> Halloween. Okay? 36 double D. So anyway, <laughs> this is relevant to the story because I used to have a guitar that had um, sound dials, like, right here. Uh. And so I'm like, why is the like volume keep turning off on my guitar or whatever? And, and we realized that I was like, oh, okay, I'm turning off the volume on my guitar with my boob. Um, many years later, Rob would be working at the House of Musical Traditions there for all of your needs. Would be, would. You would be, you would be, you were. Be. You would be, like you do. And uh, this, this woman came in, she's like, guitar is broken. Da, 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 volume bad. Da, 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 da. And Rob's like, hold the guitar. And he said, um, I am in a band with a very voluptuous woman. <laughs> You're turning off your volume with your boob. I feel like I ran up to it a bit more slowly. Like you than really that. kind of because like, I was like, I gotta sort of like establish the credentials of the fact that this is not something I was just. You know, <laughs> I am a, prof um, a professional knower of uh, anatomical. Keying of guitars, exactly. offishness. I t was that terrible? I don't sentence. know what you're saying. I don't even know what I'm you, saying. You, you are a friend. I'm a friend to boob having I'm guitar players of all kinds. This is to, not helping. To, to, to tell them gently, tell you them know. Gently. I know your pain. Threatening in a band. It's like the whole like we have you know two Jews in the house tonight, so we can talk Jewish stuff. And there's two women. <laughs> we can talk women's stuff. Let's talk man stuff. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> well, I gotta scratch the thing and the stuff and the which jumping up and down and the underwear just pops right out the side. It's like, oh, terrible. It's the balls everywhere. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Rawr. Nope. <laughs> Where's that cat? Do I, make it, do I make it worse or better when I'm around? I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know Where are we going? What are we doing? Who's running this thing? Yeah. Now. 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 Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> a really short cable for the cajon and it's been a problem. Oh, sorry. One side blind side wasn't the right side for me. Just cause I done something for you doesn't mean you got anything for me. And falling through the cracks with no safety net at all. Makes the cheap seats even cheaper when a sure shark will fall. What did any of this mean? What's gonna save me? I think we've overlooked something in this room. Overarching roof is guaranteed you'll have nothing left but no fear of anything. Never cold and never hungry, just stay huddled close to me. I'm the sum of every little thing you need. Poor and huddled masses yearning to be me. You'll have nothing left to fear but fear itself and me. What did any of this mean? What's gonna save me now? We've overlooked something in this room For me once and blame the student For me tries and blame the teacher For me tries and blame the master Maybe stop looking back Maybe stop looking back Maybe stop looking back Maybe stop looking back
hear it causes cancer I read it cures the same It's been known to shift its stance and ask askance If you thought you'd know everything else here has changed It's been known to toe the line and place its weight upon the scales It's been known to slowly shift around Known to tell a joke and call the shots and pull the strings And everybody knows it really gets around What did any of this mean? What's gonna save me now? I think we've overlooked something in this room I think we've missed something in this room For me once and blame the students For me twice and blame the teacher Call me twice and blame the master Baby, stop looking back Baby, stop looking back Maybe stop looking back Baby, stop looking back Okay, so I must admit, I've been going through thoughts and changes about the start and stop words, and I, I probably I've need noticed. to come to a decision. I probably need to come to a firm decision about it. I thought it. we met you that time. Huh? Did we not? We did. Oh, we did. We, we did. did. We totally did. We totally but the did. last time we played it, it Yeah, you, I've been flipping back and forth. Yeah. I need to think about it and be like, what does this really mean? <laughs> what does any of it mean? What does any of it mean? It's a song called <laughs> Elephant Joke. We probably have like two, maybe three songs are you up for doing animal crossing i think that'd be fun yeah the uh the uh children's song for adults we were talking about earlier which is i i feel is clarinet but okay am i right what's the key uh f f yeah it's an f because i play it on on ukulele uh at least in it's it's uh Inception. I also thought of this today because we are playing upstairs where we have our cephalopod or cephalopod hey. friends. Hey. Hey. <laughs> this song is about a cephalopod that is not represented here. It could have almost been because the the Pittsburgh Museum's gift store had a really good one. Had, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't buy it. Nah. What is it? What, I'm what sorry. What's that for a pod? A cuddlefish. A cuddlefish. Cuddlefish. Yeah. 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 Because we made it, we were very clear at the beginning of the evening there would be no cuddling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So just and cuddling. The, <laughs> as, I know from personal experience, like the cuttlefish hate it when you call them a cuddlefish because they get that all the time. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, they get full of rage and they're like, yeah. oh, I wish yeah. I had stingers. I was explaining to Seth for the purposes of this, it's like these magic changes, but really it's uh, Earth, Earth Angel, <laughs> Earth Angel, say you'll be mine. Cuddlefish. Love you forever. <laughs> Love you for all time. So anyway, that's, that's where I got the chords for this, by the way. Um... What's that playing on the radio? Anyway. These magic changes? Really? Are you with me on that one? What? Does the cheese stand alone? Aww. Magic changes. Heather Arby Lades What's cheese. that playing on the radio? I well, no, never I get heard this song, song, but what does it have to do with this? Is it it's the same chord? Same chord. Oh, oh, okay, gotcha. Anyway. I Thank right. you for joining us. We live from the lair. We do this every Wednesday. A one. A two. two. A one, two, three, four. You may not know how hard it is to break into the snack food best competition for a couple dozen coveted spots in the the animal cracker box How I long to be among all of those famous features The rhinoceros and kangaroo and elephants and all the creatures The lions and zebras
zebras I'm just a dreamer Go ahead and lick me, I'm salty sweet A perfect compliment, crushed up in the car seat But your crackery criteria's a little funky Tell me, do you really need a gorilla and a monkey? How I long to see my likeness, the sugary foray It's a fame, but you know it's a shame. I don't have Seth all the Or two with me on their plates, but I'd rather get my head bitten off by mistake than be a nobody who went about a dream half baked. How but long to be a yummy member of the pack? Eating with the sheep and the koala, even with the giraffe. You may just. But you know I need to someone put your face upon a tasty snack. Is it too big a wave? Sincerely yours, Mr. Cuttlefish. I got so happy I lost a couple words, but I saved it, it's okay. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a letter from a cuttlefish to the animal cracker people pleading the case that there, there are no, there's not really fish. There's not really, you know, aquatic animals in the animal cracker situation. And they don't say mammals. They're not like exclusively mammal crackers. Mm -hmm. You know, why you gotta be like that? Why are you excluding fish and crustaceans? <laughs> Sounds like a conspiracy. I want to play No Place Home. Okay, no? then you need to give me time oh, to tune. Oh, yes. Mm. Do you want to do No Place Home and then Lounge of Wine? Yeah, I think that's a, okay. I think that's fine. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll get you like all like lovey, and then we'll get you all like oh, and then we'll send you away. <laughs> um, all right, so tune yes. in, tune in on that. So, uh, yes, Halloween baby, Halloween actual. Um, and so. I've told, I'm trying to think of like stories about this song that I have not told in the past. One of my favorites was My Poor Diction. I had terrible enunciation in the early years of the band. Is this the song where you, I swear you say something about chicken lips? <laughs> it's possible. There's one of the songs that Rob sent me where I'm positive there's a point where you sing something about chicken lips. My enunciation is better now. <laughs> But in, in, the, in the early days of this song, uh, there's pirates and goblins, which lots of people heard as parrots and Germans. Um, <laughs> That's much more frightening, as far as I'm concerned. Pirates and the goblins. Um, I'll, I'll tell you something I haven't thought about in a long time. This was actually written when um, a friend of mine, somebody I, I cared about a lot, was was moving away the day after my birthday. Like, see ya, I'm going to the Midwest. And it was really sad. And um, I, I, you know, it was a big bummer on my birthday, a big just downer. 
And um, I think I've been thinking a lot about the songs that I wrote in the early days. And, and a, lot of them, a lot of them have to do uh, with my fear. Almost all the songs I wrote in the early days have to do with my fear. And I don't write nearly as many of those types of songs anymore, which is a very interesting thing to, to see about your sort of personal and artistic growth. But the fear of getting older is one I think you never quite lose. And so that, that is still encapsulated very deeply in this song about being run down by the headless horseman. I want it to be right and it's in bad gad and forgive the, the time spent. I grew up quite terrified of the headless horseman and at some point I, I, I guess I couldn't sleep because my parents, yeah I don't know where that ring is coming from and I'm not going to find it now um, and I guess at some point my parents thought it would be wise to take the doors off my closet because that would that would mean that I was no longer afraid of my closet because you know the doors would be hiding anything but that just meant the darkness of my closet was eternal and it was always <laughs> looking at me and so there with my fear of the headless horseman mostly engendered by the classic Disney cartoon uh, I kept imagining that the headless horseman would come galloping out of my closet and take my skull it happens it happens every year the mainstream media doesn't report about that's it. what i've heard that's what i've heard i mean i wasn't aware of that as a kid i just knew it instinctively and so i would sleep with my head under my pillow with the theory that the, the headless horseman would come galloping in look down see that my head was missing and be like oh i must have got this one already and gallop back out i forgot that's that story unassailable logic i used to have Thank a deep-seated fear of the horseless headsman <laughs> yeah yeah, he would just come wandering around and be like, where's my horse? I can't yeah. get my job done until my horse is in. Get my horse! I don't know, that's legit. Ill in pain. Like, where's my <laughs> fucking horse? <laughs> I did go visit the... You the couldn't grave. finish the song until we went and visited nope. the gay grave. I was one line away from the end. When we were in the graveyard in Sleepy Hollow. And I looked up. And I went, oh, we're okay. The Headless Horseman only rides on the full moon. The days are getting cold. They'll be cold. All the children are disappointed. All their sequins will go unseen. And the pirates and the goblins will see you find. From me, leave me nothing but hollow faces. All used up of their flame is a whisper in my blood. Something darker in the road. If I could just make it cross the bridge. For that horseman runs me down, runs me down. The leaves are nights, the only one. Who are losing all their green? Shedding red glitter from my shoes. No place is holy sound. Darker in the road, if I 
can just make it cross the bridge For that horse that runs me, me down, down, runs me down No place is home, no place is home, no place is Practicing it feverishly, I hear. I really have. One, I really have. One part in it. It's <laughs> one part. <laughs> we want to thank Seth so much again for joining us. This should be like a seasonal. I want to thank thing. Rob, Kristen, and Heather <laughs> for having me over. Exactly. One of these days, I'll get to see the actual lair. You can go downstairs. Today. No, I can't. I'm Last like a vampire. I have to be invited. <laughs> Woman, she likes to tug on my beard. She says it helps keep a handle on me. And I can see that as long as she's gentle. I am a delicate thing. I only like the rough and tumble when it's time to come and level up for the occasion. So I'd say. When I need some direction My woman, she can come here and tug hard on my beard so I say to myself How'd I get so lucky? And my friends, they all say, man How'd you get so lucky? Well, with life, I kiss the dice Old a natural 20 woman, she likes to drive My woman, she likes the sci-fi My woman drove on 695 and down 29 to see Star Wars eight or nine times But my woman, she's got her rage She's got opinions on lanes and ran forks Blasted past soccer moms and swerving husbands, and we were screaming, That's, That's not, not how the force works. works! Nicely done. And I say to myself, How'd I get so lucky? And my friends, they all say, Man, how'd you get so lucky? Well, with life, I kiss the dice. I rolled a natural 20. A 
woman, she's independent, kind of worried about singing my woman, but she finally hears this, she's either gonna love it or she's gonna hate it, and if she hates it, no one else will ever, 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 ever hear this. Maybe if I gave her a solo. Now one with those pit spots that she hates one with her bone. Oh. So by way of preemptive apology for accepted song forms and possessive terminology, here we go with Kristen Jones on the cello. Woman, she just likes board games. No RPGs, no PC games, no TV sports, no psychodrama. Well, Scrabble, yes, paranoia, no. She don't, don't even care, care about Fallout, though. She just don't play those games. And I say to myself, how'd I get so lucky? And my friends, they all say, man, how'd you get so lucky? Well, when life, I kiss the dice And I rolled a natural 20 I rolled a natural 20 that you didn't share with me in advance. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Mm. I'd seen that he'd written it down, that, that the fallout that he was going to do the fallout. Yeah, I can't yeah. And I that. missed it. And I missed it. I wrote it down. <laughs> well, I messed and you up because I didn't yeah. know what was happening. Shh, nobody messed up anything. No, it was perfect. It's fine. It's fine. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here for one of those completely amazingly Damn pre-rehearsed Illy Amy shows. <laughs> uh, just a trap. Crap and tripe. It was trap and uh, it's a trap. Oh, well, whatever. Sorry, Do I've lost all my not, ability to there communicate. There is no try. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you're within striking distance of Philly, striking. go see Heather on me. Friday. If you're within striking distance of Baltimore, come see me and Rowan on Friday. And see Seth on Sunday in D.C. If you're in JCC. striking distance of D.C. Yeah. We shouldn't say striking distance no, of D.C. No, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah. no. <laughs> Thank you so much. We will see you next week. What is next week? Is next Dave week Benham. Dev? Dave, Dave, Benham Dave Benham and okay. Susan Schneider's birthday. All right. So yeah. okay. it's going to be tricky because I think we should probably have a set list completely made of whatever Susan Schneider wants us to play, Gaze. which is a dangerous thing to, to offer. Yeah. A, and then B, put Native American flute and synths on it. Mm. What could yeah. possibly go wrong? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, find out next week. Boom, boom, boom. Centaurs and polywogs, my friends. Centaurs and polywogs. Oh. All right. All right. No, wait, what, what is all right? Chaos is our brand. You actually did it. That's actually great, Rob. I really like that. What were we? Uh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Used to be labeled. Don't sit on the table. Gonna do what we're able, cause chaos, chaos is our brand. brand. <laughs> gonna play what we like. Gonna do what we want. You're gonna tune in, cause chaos, chaos is, is our, our brand. brand. <laughs> it ain't a theory. It's chaos real life and brand. happening. <laughs> uh. Chaos is our brand. Woo. When you're supposed to press the button. <laughs> <laughs>